One of the things about working for ourselves is that there are so many options for what we can do in any given day. There are so many strategies that we could try. There's so many directions we can go. There's so many products we can create. And so a, a common experience among my clients and maybe you as well is the feeling of overwhelm. Overwhelmed, even you know, taking my classes, for example, oh my God, there's so much to learn, right? So here is a simple tool that I wanna share with you um, that I hope will help you with overcoming overwhelm. And that simple tool is to apply a temporary constraint. So here's how that works. Let's say I'm gonna use some simple examples. Let's say that I have a lot to do on my to-do list and I look at this long to-do list and it creates overwhelm naturally. So instead of just looking at this giant to-do list, apply a temporary constraint to say, if I could only do three things today from this long list, just three things, what must those three things be? Okay? So that, that's the formula. If I could only blank, what must those blank be? If I could only do three things, what must those three things be? And then by looking at this long list, okay, if, I, if I had to pick three, if I, if I only could do three, then it would have to be this, it would have to be this, and it would have to be this. Knowing, knowing that everything else can be done in the future, that's also very helpful. That's a, it's a temporary constraint that you are applying to help you focus. It's kind of like, you know, if you are overwhelmed with a site, but you're trying to find, if you're trying to find something, it's helpful to go, to go like this, you know, to, to, to look specifically at specific places. Say, okay, is this there? Is this there? Is this there? So it's a temporary constraint because you can always remove it and go, okay, now that I've done the three, what else can I do? And you can keep applying the temporary constraint to help you focus, to help you have calm, calm and empowered way to approach your day. Now, another way of approaching it. So let's say uh, I am going to be teaching a course and the, well, let me, let me flip it around to, to say, if you're taking one of my course, if you're taking any course online, okay. And you go, my God, there's so much to learn in this course. How do you apply a temporary constraint? You say, if I could only take three ideas away from this course that I would apply, what would those three ideas be? And that way, you're looking for those three ideas as you go through the course. Ah, there's my first idea that I'm, I'm most excited to apply. Okay, let's look for the second idea. Ah, there's a second idea. Oh, there's a third idea. And the course will always be there for you if you wanted to do this again, after you have applied those three ideas, you can go back to the course and say, okay, I want to apply three more ideas from the course. What would those three ideas be? So this is a, this is a, this is a tool that I use all the time. I just, it's, be, it's become so natural for me that I forget to talk about it, which is why I wanted to make a video about this because it's just very natural for me to apply temporary constraints all day long. I do this, you know, so for example, it's like, okay, I've got a lot to do right now. Okay, what's one thing I can work on for 25 minutes? That's it, that's a temporary constraint. 25 minutes, one thing. Okay, what must that one thing be? Okay, just that one thing, okay. As I'm working on that one thing, if I feel overwhelmed with that one big task, apply a temporary constraint to say, okay, out of this one task, if I could accomplish three small things from this one task, three little steps, what would those three little steps be? And then I, I, I use that. So you could literally use this for anything. You could use this for what you're gonna do this hour, or you could use this for your life purpose, okay? You could say this, the way I applied it to my life purpose was, if I, could, if, if I only had one year left to live, how would I want to work? What would I wanna work on? And that really helped me sharpen my focus to say, okay, if I only had one year left, I would want to work on this. I want to work on that, whatever it may be. And that kind of helped me a lot. Or um, let's keep going on this big picture life purpose thing. Um, life purpose, such a big question or a calling. Then I might say, 
if I, if I could only pick one thing that my life purpose might be about, what might that one thing be? It's a temporary constraint. So I'm just going to play with that right now. It's a, it's a game. If I could only pick one thing that my life purpose could be about, what, that, what might that one thing be? And as I'm writing down the answer to these questions, I might come up with more than one. And that's okay. Oh, my life would be about love, bringing love to, to, to business. Ah, oh, but now, but what about this? I could do. So it's okay to have more than, you know, you start writing more than one. But whenever you're overwhelmed again, just focus on the one or the three and just work on that. So another example would be if, if I'm facing a difficult situation, um, I could say, if I could bring, and if I'm facing a difficult situation, there's so many strengths that I could bring to the situation. So what, what, what's one strength? If I, what would wisdom do? What might wisdom do in this situation? So I pick one virtue, wisdom, or pick one, another virtue, courage, or what, just pick one and ask myself, what would wisdom do in this situation? And I write that down. What might wisdom do? You know, and the next one, what might courage do in this situation? Write that. So you can apply these temporary constraints to just about anything big or small. So I really encourage you to give this a try and let me know how it goes. So what might you be overwhelmed with today? Are you feeling any overwhelm right now in your life? Okay, what, what is it about? All right, how would you apply a temporary constraint to that? So give it a try. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know how it helps you um, or if you have any questions or you could even write it out. Okay, this is one thing I'm overwhelmed about and let's try it out. Let's apply a temporary constraint. All right, so with that, I'm going to allow you to comment and while you're commenting, I'm going to take a look at um, my Facebook Live uh, comments to see if there are any comments right now from any live people. And let's take a look here. I do. I have uh, I have comments here from. Or I want to thank Captain for joining me, uh, Elisa, Shweta, Michelle, and. Um, Michelle says, yeah, I like the way I like that way of looking at it. Um, it was just unconsciously doing that for the rest of the day now that I went a little off track. Um, yeah. So, yes. So g give it a try. You know, you apply. She's going to apply it to her business right now. So she doesn't feel wrong. That's wonderful. It's so lovely. lovely. And um, so Captain says, uh, for the long list you mentioned, how do you pick the top three? Is it random or does it have to be based on their value? Oh, that's fantastic. Right. So. I imagine for the person who's overwhelmed, um, that's a really good question, actually. So the, for the person who's overwhelmed, and when I'm overwhelmed, okay, and I look at it to, like a long to-do list, um, if, if I didn't schedule to do any one thing, and, and if, if I have an hour to just knock out my to-do list, like one hour miscellaneous to-dos, what I tend to do is I tend to do the quickest things first. Because it's like, okay, what's, what's the quickest thing on here? What's the one quickest? Okay, that one. Yeah, yeah, quick. Okay, I can do that real quick. All right, check that off. And then once I do the quickest things, I start getting momentum. And then I start doing... The, the, the concern I have with choosing the quickest and easiest thing is that people might just do that all day long and not get to challenging things. Whereas for me, I have all my challenging things scheduled in my calendar so I don't escape it. So for me, when, I, when I'm faced with a giant long list, it's because I'm at the end of my day already and I'm just trying to finish my day by knocking out some to-dos. So at that stage, it's appropriate for me just to get some momentum and get going because these long lists of things are, are not really things I scheduled. It just, it would be nice to get things done. But if I were at the start of my day, okay, let's say I was at the beginning of my day and I was planning the day, right? If I was planning the day, it would be a different set of, it would be a different question. You're right about the value. The value I would ask of this long list would be, if imagine that I finished the today 
what would be the three things I'm most proud of to have, a, to have made progress on today? What are the three things I would be, be most proud of? So that would be a different, yeah, it, it would be a different uh, way to evaluate what those three would be. So thank you for asking. And Shreta thought also thank you, um, says, uh, Shreta wrote, it helps to manage, this idea helps to manage the ultra doing lifestyle and, and thinking. So yeah, totally. So really, if you, if you could start your day saying, what are the three things I would be most proud of to have made progress on today? And you, and you made progress on every single thing you do, you put in front of you, if it's overwhelming, you ask yourself, okay, of this overwhelming big task, what's three small steps I could make progress on, right? And, and, and that'll get you going and then you'll have some momentum. So I hope this helps. I look forward to hearing how you apply this and any questions that you have. And uh, thank you always uh, for, for joining me and for watching. I really appreciate it. All right, have a great day. See you.